Parasic. Ladies, this meeting now is being recorded. Don't pick your nose. Everybody will see it. <laughs> uh, we are now uh, moving on to what I call the learn part of, of, of this uh, time together. And we're going to talk about virtual networkers and uh, what it would be like if you wanted to join us. Um, you can laugh out loud. It's all good. And uh, we're going to talk to some more members and our presidents. And so this, this is the spiel part, um, but I hope you'll stick around. And we do have um, some information at the end about how to join. So now I'm going to do that awkward screen share part. So give me a second to do that. And uh, hopefully oh. you see my Emma. Hi, Emma. And now you should see hopefully a slide with beautiful photos on it. Yep. Okay. All right, ladies. So here we go. So I, um, as I mentioned, I'm the founder of Virtual Networkers. And what we are is we are a sacred sisterhood of women entrepreneurs who desire to grow their businesses, but also really want to grow themselves. Uh, we are people who are lifelong learners. We love personal development. We love learning new things. And we, of course, we want to be successful in our businesses, how, however that looks for us. So let me just give you a little history lesson about Virtual Networkers. So Virtual Networkers started uh, at my dining room table in late 2017. So I am a low energy introvert and um, I love networking. I love meeting people, but truthfully in-person networking wears me out. So I would go to the in-person networking meeting and by the time I, I ate the expensive salad and, and had the small talk and drove back and forth, I was exhausted. I had to take a nap and that just wasn't very time efficient. So at the time I was a marketing coach. I, I coached women all around the world, including a few of you in this room uh, about marketing and I did everything through Zoom. And so I thought, well, if I can run a marketing practice through Zoom, why can't I network? So I sent out an email in February, 2018. This is before COVID and said, hey, I'm gonna be on my Zoom link if you're interested in networking with me. And so we had a few ladies join and that was our first member, our first meeting of virtual networkers. So two years before COVID. And uh, we've been going strong since then. So this uh, spiral strange capture you see here um, is uh, from a meeting or early meeting in 2018. And I'm just, I got to brag for a second. So I uh, see one, two, three, four, five of the ladies and, that, and then me. So six of us are still in virtual networkers from this early thing. Uh, so Debbie Keevan, who's uh, not here today, she's my, actually our first signing member. Judy's here. Mary Beth is here. Connie Jo is here. And Hannah's here. Ladies, I love you. Thanks for hanging out with us all this time. So there's an early photo of that. So we have now grown. We have seven, almost eight chapters. And we are uh, almost at 100 members strong, hailing from 11 different countries. And we're so proud of being a global networking organization uh, where you can just meet people beyond the boundaries. So I want to share with you my philosophy about networking, because obviously, since I created this thing, uh, it permeates in what we do. So in my opinion, networking has really gotten a bad reputation here in the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years, where for a lot of purpose-driven entrepreneurs, it felt icky to go networking because it was always like you had a referral quota or you had to bring in a, a guest or you had to go to a meeting or you have to send a substitute. Um, you know, there's like the, all the crazy business card exchanges and it just felt very, very icky. And that's actually not what networking is. Networking is about relationship building. I did some just very high level research about some of the first women's uh, entrepreneurial women networking groups. And one of the ones I found came, I, it was the earliest 20th century. And it was actually created by black women entrepreneurs, which isn't surprising because they're always forming community. And they created a networking organization, not to get referrals, but to support each other, to really have each other's backs. And that's what we do here in virtual networkers. You could read our core values, but really what this is about this is a networking group where we, we focus on relationships. We were focused on transformations, collaboration, and community. We just saw an example of the collaboration when they were um, mentioning Sandra and Hannah's uh, co-webinar together. Those two women met through virtual networkers and did this beautiful series. And that type of stuff happens all the time because it's about collaboration and building those relationships. Will you get referrals? Possibly, but our, our goal is to create an experience that 
even if you didn't get one referral from virtual networkers, when it's time to renew, it's a no-brainer because you love the community so much. So we are a weekly networking organization. That means we um, have meet every week. When you join virtual networkers, you, um, you commit to a, a home chapter, so to speak, and I'll show you our list of chapters. And we have different formats because we like to keep it spicy around here. So one of our a speaker, uh, one of our speaker meetings, our featured speaker, uh, Mary Beth is coming up here, coming up, I think it's this Friday, if I'm reading the date right. Um, so this is mostly speakers from within the organization who will come and teach us something. This could be something to help our businesses. It could be something to help our personal lives. Uh, we have so many different experts within virtual networkers. We occasionally have a guest speaker as well, but mostly comes from within the organization. We also have coffee date parties, which you experienced today. So unlike today where it was went really fast, uh, still goes fast, but it's uh, two 15 minute coffee dates during our coffee date parties. If you love those, each of our chapters hosts them at least once a quarter. And I also host ones as well. So we're having those quite a bit. So if you like that, that would be uh, something to check out. We also have business masterminds where um, if you come in with a come into a meeting and you ask a question related to your business, and all of us will mastermind and help you come up with an answer because a lot of us have been in business a long time, or our professions are in the coaching, so we're, we're finance or like we just our expertise can help. So we those are always really enlightening because what happens is even if you didn't have a question, uh, you end up learning something from from everybody else. And then we also have special events like we have today, our love and learn party, but we do other things like members meetings. Um, and in December, they'll have our chapters will have holiday gatherings, December celebrations, that type of thing. So this, this is what makes up our different um, weekly meetings. So why should you become a member? Well, we've got a lot of benefits. I'm not going to bore you all. They're all on the website, um, <laughs> but I wanted to highlight some of the big stuff. Okay. So the one I really want to pause on is this first bullet, because this is the one that is the most popular benefit, I think, from our members. And perhaps you all can chime in in the uh, chat box that I can't see. So when you join virtual networkers, you become a member of a specific chapter. You join that chapter. That's your, that's your chapter. But you can visit any of the other chapters as often as you like for as many times as you like. So as I mentioned, we have seven chapters now. We'll have eight by January. So if you so inclined, you can network eight times a week with virtual networkers if you like. You don't have to register. You don't have to tell the president you're coming. You have access to all the Zoom links. You just go ahead and pop on there. And a lot of our members, I call hop, they hop among the different um, meetings. So if you want a lot of networking opportunities for one investment, we don't charge for you know anything like that that is yours. So that's one uh, one big benefit that members really love. I mentioned we're lifelong learners. So if you love to learn, this is a great place to be. We have all of this education that comes through from our speakers. We also host uh, personal, uh, some special events rather. Um, so for example, right now, what's going on is we're having a coffee date challenge. So our members are having coffee dates with each other and there's a little spreadsheet and they put points in for each of the coffee dates they're having. And then I send cheesy prizes when they hit a certain threshold. So stickers and magnets and that kind of thing. And it's just the coffee dates are the, the, the winning part of that, but it's just kind of fun to get something in the mail. That's going on now until December. So if you join virtual networkers now and you can just absolutely jump right into that, it's not too late. And I can send you some stuff. Um, and then also we have our sisterhood soiree. So believe it or not, <laughs> We're a virtual networking organization. Many of us have never met each other in person. So I'm like, okay, we're going to, we're going to have a, a, an event. So I'm hosting our first ever in-person event. It's going to be uh, in April in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We have about 25 ladies committed so far to attend. And I just can't wait to see each other and give each other hugs. And we only see each other from, I always joke, we're going to see if we have legs and feet because we've only only seen each other from the chest up. Uh, so it's going to be fun. And so that's another special event coming. Uh, I want you to grow your businesses, as I mentioned. So just like you heard Regina promoting her Canva tips, at the end of every meeting, you can promote your stuff. We also have uh, Mighty Networks, which I'll talk about in a second. And that allows you to also promote your stuff over there too. And it's stuff in quotation marks. And then finally, um, 
And I know this sounds woo woo, but it's so important. We have an abundance mindset. It's contagious. If you tap into it, you'll have an abundance mindset too, which means you just know there's plenty of everything. Plenty of clients, plenty of referrals, plenty of money, plenty of business opportunities, blah, 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 blah. It's contagious. You can't help but feel it too. And that makes your business go so much better. And then we see so many cool transformations. On this slide, here's a little quote from Michelle Silva Dockery, who joined Virtual Networkers about six or seven months ago. And when she joined us, she had she had her, her gift, which she's a Reiki healer, but she didn't have a business name. She didn't have a website. She didn't have a 30 second introduction. She, she was just starting out. And now fast forward, Michelle has a name and I think Sherry Andrews like trademarked it and all that for her, got her all set up. Um, Laura Templeton helped her with her 30 second introduction. She's got a website. She's got clients. She's now speaking, not only within virtual networkers, but outside the organization. And she attributes that, that boost of confidence and the resources to really getting her moving uh, here in her business. And we're so proud of her. And that's just the type of transformations you see uh, from, from business b- pivots to new businesses, to people retiring and everything in between. I want to mention that we are use Mighty Networks, as, and this is one of our benefits for joining. Mighty Networks is like a Facebook group on steroids. It's an app you can download for your phone, or you can access it through your web, through the desktop. This is the hub. This is where everything is stored. So when um, every chapter meeting is recorded and the transcripts for the uh, chat box are also captured and they're uploaded to our Mighty Network. So if you miss that meeting, for example, you can watch the replay. If you see that there's a speaker you wanted to uh, connect with or learn from, but you couldn't make that meeting, you can watch that replay as well. It's all on demand. You can just access that at your own leisure. Uh, We have chat threads. We have Uh, engagement pods for some social media sites. We've got spots for you to promote your stuff again. So that's if you've got a webinar or a special offer, if you're an author, there's tons of authors and there's tons of podcasters and virtual networkers. We've got little spots for you to promote. Or if you're seeking that, you can seek that information there as well. And Mighty Networks also hosts all of our, um, our essentials, our handbook, we have a roster, we have a calendar, so you know exactly who's presenting or what's a coffee date party, et cetera, and all the Zoom links, everything's right there in Mighty Networks. And if you're new to virtual networking, which most people aren't by now, but I just like to stress that virtual networking is just cool, um, especially not if you're an introvert for sure, but if you'd like to be real efficient on your time, it's very cool as well. Uh, you don't, there's no travel time. You don't have to buy the expensive salad. If you're like me and you get overstimulated, there's less of that in virtual networking. There's little, there's no small talk in virtual networking. And, you know, I kind of was tongue in cheek here on this last bullet. Truthfully, people have showed up in virtual networkers meetings in their pajamas. And here's the thing, we don't care. We don't care what you're wearing. We don't care if your makeup is on or if your hair is done. We want to see you. We really want just to see you. So come in your workout clothes. We are, we'll never judge you for it. So we do have just a couple responsibilities that we like for our members to be aware of. The first one is to attend meetings. And I know that sounds like a no brainer, but we'd be surprised. I'm so surprised as the founder of a networking organization, how many people so join a networking organization and then never show up for the meetings or aren't consistent in their attendance. And then they kind of wonder, oh, you know, I didn't get anything out of virtual networkers. I'm like, eh, well, you did show up for a meeting. So we don't have an attendance requirement per se. We get that life happens. We get that you got to take the dog to the vet and sometimes you're not feeling good. We just ask if you can't make it, just let the president know that that's it. That's our only ask. And um, so that is one of the requirements is to come to a meeting when you're not at the doctor's or on vacation, et cetera. We do ask that you invite guests to, again, this is not a requirement. There's no quota. There's no incentive money or anything like that. We want natural, organic, heartfelt referrals as well. So, but if you know someone who might benefit from virtual networkers, we ask that you bring her to a meeting. At the chapter level, we do have a couple voluntary assignments. One is for a speaker committee. Uh, that's a two or three members who just plan the speakers for that specific, that specific uh, quarter. And then we also have a new member ambassador role who basically just welcomes new members that come to the chapter. And then finally, we have our member handbook. 
short, I promise it's not Moby Dick, about six or seven, eh, eight pages, maybe eight pages, um, just for you to look at, make sure you're familiar with all of our information. So here's when our chapters meet. As you can see, we have seven, almost eight chapters. We got every day of the week covered, so many different time zones. So um, so this is, uh, we're gonna have the president's talk in a few minutes and they'll give you some more information about their chapters. But I wanted just to show this slide so you can see uh, when we meet and see if anything kind of jives with your schedule. Some people always ask me, well, how do I know which chapter to join? My first tip is pick one that you know you can go to. Um, if that don't that you're likely to make every week. Um, if you find you get into virtual networkers and that chapter's not working out for you, you can transfer. No problem. It happens all the time. It works out. Um, really, it's fine. You can just uh, let me stop the share here. So um, so that's part of the spiel. I hope I didn't go too fast. Uh, but I want to now ask uh, Kristen Toscano and Aditi to step forward, please. And Kristen's going to um, talk to Aditi about her membership and share why Aditi is a member of Virtual Networkers. Ladies. Thanks, Jill. Thank you, Jill. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Aditi. Nice to see you again. Um, so can you just tell us how long have you been in Virtual Networkers? Well, I'm coming close to six months. Yeah, I joined, I think, in April or May this year. So yeah. Time is flying. Beautiful. And what's been your favorite part so far? My favorite part has been actually the sign-up bonuses. Uh, they are so special. I got to meet a lot of virtual networker network members from around the world. And <clears throat> it was a good way to also know what each of them does in good detail. So it is really so much more than just a sign up bonus. It is a, a connection. It's a beautiful connection. It's a good way to know people who are not in your chapter and uh, also learn more about their work. So I really enjoyed that, that uh, aspect the most so far. Yeah, fantastic. And, and as a member, um, when we do put together these uh, sign on bonuses, it's a great way for you to get to meet the new members for them to learn what you do. So it kind of benefits both sides. So absolutely. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was really great energy too, because everyone was more doing it in the spirit of uh, being helpful, of course, in addition to being seen and uh, getting to know other people, but the energy was like very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. And so what results have you experienced since joining virtual networkers? And these can be like some of the more, um, kind of intangible benefits or kind of more concrete benefits like number of referrals or um, yeah. clients, those kinds of things. So, yeah. So I think it's been a mix of both in terms of like tangible. Um, I did get a couple of referrals in terms of uh, the softer benefits. I think my energy has become more relaxed as a business owner because that's, that's the energy I get from here. Like everyone, of course, wants their business to grow, but it's not very like bro -y or very like uh, aggressive. It's very like, let's relax and also help each other and also find ways to collaborate and let me give you some ideas. And yeah, so I love that uh, for myself and for the community that we are uh, you know, making together here. And uh, of course, a lot, a lot of ideas, right? Like I am getting to know ghostwriters and publishers and I'm like, oh, one day I can actually have this book that I have in my head out of my head and onto paper. And uh, yeah, I think that's really special. And so many other things that people are doing. Uh, I'm like, wow, I didn't know I could, you know, access that, those kind of resources. So it's also like opening up my imagination and possibilities. Awesome. I love all of that. And everything you said resonates with kind of what I've gotten from it as well. So thank you for sharing all of those. And so what would you say to anyone who's on the fence about joining virtual networkers? 
I would say don't even think twice about it. It is a no-brainer because uh, where else do you get a community of like-minded women who are on the same page as you are about taking your business forward, but also having a supportive group and uh, giving you such a wide variety of resources to help you grow without the added extra pressure of you know reaching some metrics when it comes to referrals or meeting attendance or uh, other things that you have to do. And we're getting to do it from the comforts of our own homes, which is what Jill started with. I love that. There's no pressure of any kind in any way. And yet I've been able to attend a lot of other chapter meetings and show up very frequently to mine. And I think it's easy, it's doable. It is great energy. It's very supportive. It gives you so much back, uh, more than you even imagine, both tangibly and intangibly. So I think it's a no-brainer. Thank you, Aditi. And what? how amazing to see and hear all of those results just in your first six months. So That's thank right. you for sharing all of that. Thank mm -hmm. you. And I think one one thing somebody mentioned early on today <clears throat> which I would like, like to add that we get to make friends from around the world and which is so true. And I um, I was in Portugal earlier this summer and I got to meet Luciana in person, who is one of the chapter members uh, I have in the Tuesday chapter. And yeah, I, w I was in Portugal. I got to see her and her partner. And it was so surreal and so beautiful at the same time. That somebody I see only on a screen every week, I got to see her in action and have her show me like her beautiful country. So it was very special. Oh, that's awesome. Love that. I love when you all meet in person. <laughs> and in Portugal, I'm like, whoa, it's so cool. I know. Aditi, thank you so much for your kind words. We're so glad you're a virtual networker. Yeah, me uh, too. Awesome. awesome. We're going to do a quick uh another drawing and then we're going to do another short little interview with a member so connie joe are you ready to do the honors for another ten dollars ready here we go the winner is hana broter Ooh. one of our charter members see there's advantage of sticking with us since 2018 dollars <laughs> <laughs> for you my friend thank you hana for being here today hana is in norway another uh international one of our international ladies so now I'm going to ask uh, Marcy and Judy Kane to come forward to give us a little five minute talk. And, and why I asked, uh, so you have Aditi, who's a new member, and then we got Judy's been with us since the dawn of time. So Marcy and Judy, <laughs> take it away. So hello, Judy. We were lucky enough to pop into a coffee chat room earlier today. So that was delightful. Um, and we talked a lot about the beach. Imagine that if any of you know me, you've heard me say the word beach probably 1500 times, but um, Miss Judy, you have been here, as Jill said, from the dawn of time. Can you tell me how long that's been exactly? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't at the first meeting, but I became a, a member in May of 2018. Okay. And so, how come you've so long? Go ahead. Go ahead. How come you've stayed so long? What's what's kept you here? Wow, it's going to be hard to add to what Aditi said because she covered so many aspects of this, but it's the connection, it's the relationships. Um the growth. I mean, you learn a lot in these meetings uh, and you also get access to resources. You know, I mean, if you need somebody who knows something about something or or you need to find somebody who does something, if it's not here, the people here know who does it. So it's it's a really good uh, place to find what you need. Um, and then it's just so easy being virtual. I, it really appeals to my sense of effectiveness with time. That's awesome. So if you had to pick, you named several things, but what's your very favorite part about virtual networkers after all these years? Um, it's the connecting with the people from all over. You yes. know, I, I love the fact that, you know, I've got friends in all those countries and it really doesn't matter, right? I mean, it just makes the location so irrelevant and at the same time, it's really interesting and cool, right? <laughs> so yeah, that that's my favorite part. So good. So good to step outside our boxes. Um, have you experienced any results um, in your business? And whether that's, you know, a, a soft, a soft result, maybe it's your mindset or whatever that might be to actual referrals and maybe some um, additional clients due to your involvement with virtual networkers? 
Yeah, I used to track this. And I know the first couple of years, um, about a third of my business came one way or another through virtual networkers. Mm -hmm. I don't track it the same way anymore. So I don't I couldn't get more current information. But it's you make the connections, you make the relationships, people find out what you do. Maybe they try it themselves and they tell other people or they introduce you to people that they think might want to mm -hmm. get to know you and see if that's a good fit for business. Uh, so I've had very tangible results, but it's also been such a good place to um, practice my presentation skills or to, you know, the, the personal growth has been really good because it's a very non-judgy place, right? You know, uh, you can ask for feedback or, or people will encourage you and be a cheerleader when you try something different. So awesome. So if there's anybody that's on this call or anybody who happens to see this recording later and they're wondering whether or not they should take the leap and join virtual networkers, what would you say to them? Well, I, I think... You've got to look at what it is you're looking for, but uh, we're collaborative, we're supportive, we're heart centered. Um, and if that appeals to you, then we're probably a good fit. And I'd encourage you to sign up. Thank you, Judy. You mentioned all my favorite parts too, especially the heart centered, heart centered piece. So thank you much. We'll throw it back to you, Joe. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. Welcome. I met Judy at, at some chiropractor office in, near Tampa, <laughs> Florida. She and I like were like two bugs. We we're just connected. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, you got a virtual networking? And I'm like, Yeah, come check it out. So there she is. And since then, she and I both moved away from Tampa, Florida. <laughs> and what's the beauty about network virtual networking is we still can network together. And that's really, really cool. So thank you, ladies, so much uh, for that. So I'm going to ask my presidents now to come up. Uh, I don't know why I say come up. It's not like you're on coming on stage, but anywho. Um, so I just want you all to get to, cause you've heard a lot from me, um, and you've heard from Kristen, you've heard from Connie Joe, but I just want everybody to have a moment to talk about their chapters, uh, and, and what each chapter, like, I like to describe our chapters because people are like, well, what's the difference between the chapters? Well, of course, different times, different uh, meeting days, like the logistics are a little different, but it's sort of like, you know, you go to McDonald's and then you go to another McDonald's, like the menu is the same, but the plant may be in a different spot. It's that's sort of the difference with the chapters. Um, so I'm going to first ask Miss Christy Crippen, and we, we're starting at the top, like who's the first one meeting for the week? And it's Christy Crippen. Her chapters meet at noon uh, on Mondays. Christy Crippen, what would you like to say about your beautiful, beautiful chapter? Mm. Well, my chapter is in its infancy stages. We just had our very first meeting on the 7th, October 7th, and we resume next week on the 21st. Um, we'll be having a business mastermind uh, next week. Um, and we ha I have three amazing members so far in my chapter, two of whom are here today, um, the amazing Regina Gray and Laura Templeton. Um, and I, I'm just so excited to see how my chapter will grow and transform over time. And I think, you know, if you're, if you're, um, especially if you're say based on the West coast of the U S or Canada or Mexico, and you are looking for um, a networking group that starts a little bit later in the day, this could be a great option for you. Um, um, if you want to kick off your week with networking, you know, that's another great option too. Um, I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm, I'm just honored. So honored to take on this role, Jill. Thank you, oh, Christy. We love having you. Christy, how long have you been a member of virtual networkers? Oh my gosh. It feels like seven minutes, but I, <laughs> I started when the, the, when the Wednesday chapter started, which was in the summer of 2020, August of 2020, I believe it was. And it yeah. like that it's gone. I know it's because this, it's been a weird, yeah. anyway, it's been <laughs> not because of you, Christy. Uh, it's just been a weird time. Uh, Christy, we're glad that you're here. Thank you so much uh, for leading. I had, I, by the way, I did put a link if you want to see the chapter times and all that. Again, I just dropped a link in the chat box. And now we're going to move to Connie Jo Miller, who also has a Monday chapter, meets Mondays at 3 p.m. Eastern. Connie Jo has been a chapter president for how long? Since March of 2021. Well, our longest tenure. Thank you, Connie Jo. Tell us a little bit about your chapter. 
Well, as Jill mentioned earlier, I am a charter member of Virtual Networkers, and I was first introduced to Jill by longtime friend Debbie Keevan when I first launched my business in December of 2017, and then Virtual Networkers launched three months later, and I started attending, and I think I actually joined in May of 2018. So I've been here a long time, and I became, as I said, the president of the Monday 3 p.m. chapter in March of 2021 because the President, then president was leaving, and I just wanted to play a bigger part in virtual networkers and support this amazing group of heart-centered women. Um, there are three members, uh, Lauden, Nancy, and Suzanne, who actually aren't here today, but they were members when I started, and they're still members today in the Monday 3 p.m. Uh, chapter. And we have members from the Yukon in Canada to Florida. We have a member from Hawaii and Massachusetts and then everything in between. So we crisscross the North America and every member um, that we have is, is unique and they have a special gift that they share with the group and it shows up the most when we do our masterminds and someone poses some business question and everybody pipes in and gives their unique perspective on how to solve or um, improve something that they're working on. So that's uh, that's the Monday 3 p.m. chapter. We love our Monday 3 p.m. chapter. We love you, Connie Joe. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Is Kristen B. back in front of her computer? Is she still here? She is. Oh, there She's you there. are. I, 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 I lost you there for a forth. second. <laughs> Kristen B., tell us about your chapter. Yay. Well, uh, we meet Tuesdays. Um, Oh, you're breaking up. And we a year, and I've been a member of the chapter since I think 18, uh, something like that, perhaps. Um, and uh, we have a unique combination with a couple of expats. Uh, I think actually I'm like the only one living in the country I'm actually born in of all the members. <laughs> so we are we are very international crowd, and there are still some of the original members from when this chapter was founded a couple of years ago. And I think we're a very close, uh, close group. Not that we don't welcome others in, but once we're there, we kind of like we take care of each other and we know about each other. And we we actually met as well, the group uh, two years ago. We met live um, in person, had some drinks, had some laughs. And uh, so there's a lot of love going on in this group, I would say. I agree. And the, the um, combination of members are there we're there are a lot of coaches different a lot well we are like seven regular members i think six seven regular members and different kinds of coaches business coaches transformational life coaches and we have some tech a tech consultant who's amazing we have gabriella who's here today uh with her gongs and also a nutritionist and stuff like this so it's a a mixed group and uh very inspirational and we really take care of each other I would say, and we would love to see some new members to bring in some new blood for new new discussions and new inspiration. Perfect. Thank you, Kristen. Yes. And Kristen, if you need to scoot off, Kristen's getting ready to go to Japan. She's in Denmark. So if yeah. you need to scoot, my friend, go ahead. Um, but, and thank, thank you. you. I'm like okay. running in and out from my suitcase <laughs> and stuff like You're this. Fine. Yeah. You're fine. All right. So our, our other Tuesday chapter is... is um, noon eastern time on tuesday and that's run by stephanie muscat who unfortunately is sick as a dog today she really wanted to be here so she sent me sent me something that she'd like for me to read and so if you give to bear with me a second i'm going to read and, and stephanie you're going to see she's a beautiful writer here she comes all right here we go so each woman in our chapter is a unique patch in a vibrant quilt stitched together with threads of trust empathy and shared experiences our supportive relationships create a warm, safe space to learn, share stories, and uplift one another. Each encounter adds richness to both our individual and collective experiences, reminding us that our differences enhance the beauty of this tapestry. I, I'm going to have to put that in a frame. That I, Stephanie, I hope you see this replay. Thank you so much. Um, so that's another chapter option for you meets Tuesdays at uh, noon Eastern time, and um, this is a beautiful group of ladies. And I know because I used to run that chapter, not too until the recently. Uh, so thank you for my to the Tuesday ladies for being here. 
All right, next we've got Kristen Toscano. Kristen, tell us about your chapter. Yeah, well, how do I follow that? Because I am uh -huh. definitely not that, I don't know, eloquent. I am much more fly by the seat of my pants. You're good. <laughs> it's all good. But um, I've been in virtual networkers since Laura started our Wednesday chapter in 2020 as well. Um, took over as president of the chapter in January. And kind of like all the chapters, like so much love and support within our chapter. Um, I have Mo and Jen Klein Clark here. And Christy has been a member of the Wednesday chapter for, like she said, since the beginning. Um, I would say if we have a vibe well, some of our businesses are focused on helping people connect to our intuition, even those in the in our chapter who aren't definitely are connected to their intuition. I think we have an intuitive vibe in our chapter. Um, but yeah, love welcoming in new members. So hope to see you all, if not as new members of our chapter as guests. Yeah. Awesome. And Kristen, thanks for your help today with the co-pilot duties. You've done a great job. Thank you so much. All right, well, next we're going to bring Anna Garrison, whose chapter starts in January. So she's like, I don't know about my culture of my chapter. I don't have anybody yet. But Anna, talk about why you wanted to be a president and if somebody wants to join now, what that would look like. I think it's been said multiple times. When I joined this group, which was in February of this year, it was it was instant. I knew that this was the group for me, the support, the collaboration, the heart centeredness. There was all of those things that you look for in a sisterhood was in this group. And that was from, I think it was a coffee date was the first meeting that I attended and meeting after meeting after meeting. It's like, I want to be involved more than I currently am. And the opportunity came up Jill's like, Hey, we're looking to open a new chapter. Would you be interested? Absolutely. And that goes against everything that my four, six generator human design is, but I was, didn't even think about it. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and I also wanted to offer something that could reach more people. You know, most of us are on the East coast. And so I figured, well, why not Wednesday? We're in the middle of the week. Let's do it later in the day. Hopefully that opens up some time for our West coast friends. And maybe some of those in Europe are like night owls and wants to be, want to be a part of that as well. Um, and I've had some of my friends say, well, I want to join but do I have to wait? And the answer is no. If Wednesdays at four o'clock appeals to you, but you don't want to wait until January to be involved in all of this deliciousness that we have going on, you can join now, take advantage of the signing bonuses, start getting to know people in the other groups, and then come January 15th at four o'clock, hop right in when our meetings get started. That's exactly right. Yeah, because we have, <laughs> you can just visit the other chapters and really between U.S. Thanksgiving and Christmas to really, you know, right. we'll have some time right. off, but you right. can um, take, if you want to join Anna's chapter, because we're, I'll talk about it in a second, but we'll have a, a reduced annual membership rate and blah, 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 all the good stuff you can do so. And Anna would be happy to have you. Thank you, Anna. Absolutely. Thank all you. right, Marcy, tell us about your chapter, pretty please. Hello, everybody. Um, I am Marcy Hawkinson, and my chapter meets on Thursdays at 12 Central Standard Time. Um, and hopefully, being smack dab in the middle of the country, that makes it accessible to people on both U.S. coasts. I'm not very good with time clocks, so I'm not sure about people who are in other area of the world, areas of the world how that might fit. But I joined Virtual Networkers in March, and it was just an interesting collaboration. I was invited by someone who knew Jennifer Jane Young, who is a member. Um, I joined at one of these love and learn parties. And um, Jennifer Jane Young is now in my chapter. So I stepped <laughs> up um, into the role of president because I really believe in what virtual networkers is doing out there. And I kind of equate when I explain this group to my husband, I'm like, this is like the impromptu meetings I used to have with all of my office coworkers when they would just hop in my office and we would sit and just support each other and help each other brainstorm and talk through things and offer support and know each other's, you know, personal lives and where the struggles might be and, and offer that support. So that was really, I, that was missing in my life as an entrepreneur after I left corporate. 
there was a lot of masculine energy with get stuff done, get stuff done, get stuff done. But I was missing that feminine energy infusion. So um, that is why I stepped up to lead a chapter. And we have only had two meetings, but we are small and mighty already. Um, along with Jennifer Jane Young, there's Amy Linzer Lesser and Heather Wild. And if I had to describe our group, I would say we are very inclusive. We are very soul centered. Um, we have bonded already in just two, we had tears at our second meeting. So if, if you're, we are a lot highly sensitive empaths, if that's you and you're feeling lonely in your, in your solopreneur gig, um, my chapter might be exactly the right place for you to land. You're going to get either the hardcore business support that you might need, but you're also going to really find a place of belonging. So Thursdays at noon, come check us out. Oh, I love it. One day I'll have to tell you all what I think of your personalities for each of your chapters. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, Marcy's got the wild ones, uh, the wild women in her chapter. Kristen's got the idea generators. There's so many. I mean, there's really, I love you all because it just it's, it makes you all perfect. We're almost done, I promise. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. We got another door prize. So Connie Jo, what's our final, who's our final winner? Final winner is oops, uh, Dr. Lynn. Dr. Lynn. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm joining just as soon as we hang up. Oh, oh Dr. Which chapter? Do you know which chapter? You. Probably Christy, Christie's. Oh, I love it. Yeah. We're so excited. Yes, please join us. We can't wait. Well, let me tell you, let me give you the incentives so you can even confirm your decision. Wait, Look wait, at it. Mo Cooper's got some disco lights going on there. Do oh, that again. Oh. That's amazing. Hey, hey Jill. <laughs> yeah. What, what about the Friday chapter? Oh, I got to do Friday. I'm sorry. I got so excited. Yeah, that's me. So Donna Kendrick is our Friday president of our Friday chapter. How can I forget the Friday chapter? It's the original. Embarrassing. Okay. Ladies, the Friday chapter is awesome. You know why? Because I started it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting punchy. Um, Friday's chapter meets Fridays at 8 a.m. Donna Kendrick is the president and she's not here today. Um, she had another commitment, but that is the original, original chapter that I started. And it's got a lot of the OGs in there, including Margaret Martin, who will not be forgotten. Um, and I appreciate Margaret. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, so if you'd like to get up early on Fridays or if you're in uh, outside of the United States, it's a great time to join us. Um, and we hope that you will. It's a beautiful chapter and uh, it's, it is just the biggest cheerleaders ever in that Friday chapter and all the chapters. I can't be biased. Thank you, Margaret. So don't forget about that one as well. All right. So we have Dr. Lynn is our door prize winner. So that's that on the agenda. Let me go back to sharing my screen real quick. Cause I just want to show you the signing bonuses and it's easier, I think, to read it then for me to rattle them off. So there's my beautiful Bassa Hound again. By the way, she's no longer with me, but I got two others who will be coming home soon. From Thank you. Okay, love. real quick, ladies. We don't give a lot of discounts off the M annual membership because it's a great bargain without it, but this time you can. So right now we're offering $50 off your first year membership. There is a payment plan as well. So you can either pay in full at $349 US or take four months at $99. You can do either one. That's a about a $50 savings. And then you also can claim these beautiful gifts donated by our members that are all intended to help you increase profit in your business. So you've heard from Judy Kane. You, what you probably don't realize is she's brilliant at helping you take out your head trash, which is the subconscious beliefs. 30 minutes with her. If you're afraid of snakes, you will no longer be like, that's just an example. Um, she's brilliant. You will love her. Connie Jo Miller. Yes. Virtual network is president, but also amazing bookkeeper and financial coach. She'll spend 60 minutes with you going over your books. Even if you don't have them, don't let that scare you. And she'll talk about how to get your finances going well for your business. I know I've heard human design a couple of times. Stacey Rowan is going to help. She's going to look at your human design and then explain how to maximize your profit potential according to your human design. So you're not going against the grain when you're trying to make money in your business based on your human design. So that's another gift, another session with her. 
Jennifer Jane Young, the name everybody's talking about. She's not here. Unfortunately, she's sick. She wrote a great book called Say Yes to Yes. She has a course and uh, a, a 30 minute session to help you delve, dive deep into your intuition. Beautiful um, opportunities. So that's something else you can claim. And finally, last but never least, our Laura Templeton. Laura Templeton is the queen of messaging. And so she's going to help you figure out how to have conversations that convert in an or for organic sales. You won't feel icky. And then also ask her about chat GPT because she's the queen of the chat GPT. So here's how this is going to work. Some of you have never been to a virtual networkers meeting today. And I know that some of you have <laughs> Alyssa and we want you to join. However, if you feel like you need to visit some of the chapters before you decide, we want you to do that. You don't have to take, you have until October 31st to take advantage of this offer. So you have, I don't know, what is that? Like 10 days, eh, almost two weeks. Um, so if you want to go, oh, I want to check out Christy's chapter. I want to check out Kristen's chapter. You can do that and then decide which chapter you want to join. But if you know you want to join now, like Dr. Lynn, then go right ahead and join and, um, and you will get these amazing signing bonuses and this discount. All of this will be spelled out in that replay email to our guests so that you can look at this. If you're like me, you have to like read things carefully. Um, you will have that, but that is our offer for today. And I want to thank the ladies who have donated um, big prizes as well uh, for that. So thank you so much. So that's our offer for today. We hope you say yes. It's the top of the hour. And I promise that we'd be done at noon Eastern. So I will stay on though. If anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I want to thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate your time. I hope, I hope you'll join virtual networkers and uh, our guests will get an email from me. Members, this will, I'm, since it's Friday, I'm going to upload this to Donna's replays since she's our Friday, Friday chapter. So look for that here soon in, in Mighty Networks. So with that, I bid you adieu. I'll stick, I'm going to turn off the recording if anybody wants to